for my learning experience, I decided to do it on a piece of gym equipment that I was unsure how to use. And this is my first attempt. So as you can see in my first attempt, I've got my legs pretty much straight. I'm leaning back a lot and then pulling the rower to my chest. Yo, Trey, drop the verse. It's going down, fade to Black Street. The homies got at me, collab creations. Bump like agony, no doubt. I put it down, never slouch. As long as my credit can vouch. I, I decided to ask Jay, who is a PT trainer at the gym and who is a more knowledgeable other, to educate and practice with me to learn this technique. This approach falls under Vygotsky's theory of interaction with peer and adults helps learners to bridge the gap. This type of scaffolding learning provides the support necessary for learners to enable them to accomplish a task and learn more independently. So now that I've been instructed by Jay on how to use the equipment effectively, I can draw on Piaget's theory by making meaning of my learning experience and put it into practice. That's it. Yeah, that's the one. So here you can see that my legs are bent, that I try to keep a straight back and pull the rower to my waist. Okay, so maybe one last thing I may need to use in order to maybe get the results that I want. Put on a little bit of extra muscle. Can't go wrong with a bit of protein. And then maybe, might be able to look like this guy. let's just say he's actually bigger in person. So he used to be the pro bodybuilder of Australia. Good guy. Very strong. 